Welcome to today's episode of Places People Purpose. Today, we're going to delve into an interesting industry that plays a very significant role in the economic well being of Botswana, and that is the diamond trade. So, without further delay, let's get started on today's episode. We learned earlier that Botswana gained its independence from Britain in 1966. It was only a year later that the story of Botswana's diamond trade began with a serendipitous discovery in 1967. Geologists stumbled upon diamond-bearing kimberlite pipes in the northeastern part of the country, primarily in the Arapa region. Kimberlite is a volcanic rock that is most commonly known to be the primary host for diamonds. The story of how diamonds are created is actually quite interesting. It turns out that diamonds are formed deep within the Earth's crust, under conditions of intense heat and pressure. This heat and pressure causes carbon atoms to crystallize and form diamonds. Diamonds are found at a depth of approximately 150 to 200 kilometers or about 93 to 124 miles below the Earth's surface. Here, temperatures average 900 to 1300 degrees Celsius, which is about 1,652 to 2,372 degrees Fahrenheit, and very high pressure, equal to about 50,000 times the atmospheric pressure at the Earth's surface. Under these conditions, molten magma forms within the Earth's upper mantle and expands at a rapid rate. This expansion causes the magma to erupt, forcing it to the Earth's surface and taking along with it the rocks bearing diamonds. Moving at an incredible speed, the magma takes the path with least resistance, forming a pipe to the surface. As it cools, the magma hardens to form kimberlite and settles in these vertical structures known as kimberlite pipes. Kimberlite pipes are the most significant source of diamonds, yet it is estimated that only one in every 200 kimberlite pipes contain gem quality diamonds. The name kimberlite was derived from the South African town of Kimberley, where the first diamonds were found in this type of rock. Now back to Botswana, where Arapa, meaning resting place for lions, was the site of the first significant diamond discovery. The well-known global diamond company, De Beers, quickly recognized the potential of this find and established the Arapa diamond mine which became one of the world's richest diamond mines. In 1972, there was another major discovery, which occurred in Juaneng in southern Botswana. The Juaneng diamond mine, also operated by De Beers, is renowned for producing some of the world's largest and highest quality diamonds. Needless to say, the impact of the diamond trade on Botswana's economy has been profound, catapulting the nation from one of the world's poorest countries at independence in 1966 to a middle-income country today. In the early years of its nationhood, Botswana was one of the poorest countries in the world, with a per capita income of about $80 a year. According to World Bank data from 2022, Botswana is now among the most prosperous countries in Africa, with a per capita income of approximately $7,738. Botswana is behind only the Seychelles, Mauritius, 
and Gabon, with GDPs per capita of 15,875, 10,216, and 8,820, respectively. By contrast, Burundi, one of the poorest countries in Africa, only has a GDP per capita of $238. There's no question that the diamond trade has had a significant impact on Botswana's gross domestic product, or that Botswana's economy relies heavily on diamond revenues. In 2022, the World Bank data provides that Botswana's GDP was $20.35 billion. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, the mining sector accounts for about 35% of Botswana's GDP, with diamonds contributing about 94% of the total mining share in GDP. Botswana produces the world's largest gem diamonds, with an output that represents about 40% of the total world's output. The diamond mining industry in Botswana includes activities such as exploration, extraction, processing, and export of diamonds. The revenue generated directly from diamond mining operations, including the sale of rough diamonds to international buyers, forms a substantial portion of Botswana's GDP. The Botswana government receives a substantial share of the revenue generated from diamond mining through taxes, royalties, and other fees imposed on mining companies. The government's share of diamond revenue contributes significantly to its overall budget, enabling it to finance public services and infrastructure development. The diamond industry has a significant multiplier effect on Botswana's economy. It supports various secondary and tertiary industries, including transportation, logistics, construction, and retail. These industries benefit from the demand generated by the diamond sector, further boosting revenue. The diamond sector also provides employment opportunities to a considerable number of people, from miners to administrative staff to support workers Employment in the diamond industry contributes to household incomes, which in turn stimulates consumer spending and contributes to Botswana's overall GDP. The revenue generated from diamond mining has allowed Botswana to invest in essential infrastructure such as roads, schools, hospitals, and utilities. This infrastructure development enhances the quality of life for citizens and supports economic growth in other sectors. The diamond trade also generates foreign exchange earnings for Botswana, which is beneficial. When Botswana exports its diamonds, they are typically sold in foreign currencies, and the revenue earned from these exports contributes to the country's foreign exchange reserves. This is crucial for maintaining a stable exchange rate and facilitating international trade. Clearly, the consistent revenue stream from diamonds has contributed to Botswana's economic stability. It has helped the country weather economic fluctuations and external shocks, reducing vulnerability to economic crises. Diamond revenue has been used to fund social programs and initiatives, including education, healthcare, poverty alleviation, and community development. These programs contribute to social well-being and can indirectly boost economic activity. It's important to note that while the diamond trade has played a pivotal role in Botswana's economic development, the government has also been proactive in managing diamond resources responsibly. Botswana's commitment to transparency, good governance, and reinvesting diamond revenues in the nation's development has helped ensure that the diamond industry's impact on GDP is positive and sustainable. That being said, Botswana is aware of the need to diversify its economy to reduce its dependence on diamonds, 
given the volatility of the global diamond market and the finite nature of diamond resources. Efforts to diversify into other sectors, such as tourism, manufacturing, and technology, are ongoing to ensure long-term economic stability and growth. In 1969, Botswana entered into a 50-50 joint venture with De Beers to manage its diamond resources. The name of the joint venture is Debswana, and this collaboration has been instrumental in ensuring a stable and profitable diamond industry. Botswana's diamond industry has not only focused on economic gains, but also on environmental and social responsibility. Sustainability and ethical practices are integral to the nation's diamond trade. Like with its tourism industry, Botswana has implemented strict environmental regulations to minimize the ecological impact of diamond mining. Land rehabilitation efforts ensure that mining sites are restored to their natural state once operations cease. While Botswana's diamond trade has brought tremendous benefits, it also faces a range of challenges and uncertainties in the modern era. The diamond market is subject to price volatility influenced by economic factors, fashion trends, and lab-grown diamonds. The rise of lab-grown diamonds poses a challenge to natural diamond producers like Botswana. The nation is exploring ways to differentiate its natural diamonds and compete in this changing market. The history and current status of the diamond trade in Botswana showcase a remarkable journey of transformation and resilience. From a nation with untapped diamond wealth to a thriving middle-income country, Botswana has harnessed its diamond resources wisely, focusing on sustainable practices, economic development, and the well-being of its people. As Botswana navigates the challenges of the evolving diamond industry, its story serves as an inspiration and a model for responsible resource management in the 21st century. With a commitment to transparency, ethical practices, and economic diversification, Botswana's future in the diamond trade continues to be bright. That's all we have for today. We hope you enjoyed learning about Botswana and its diamond trade. Join us tomorrow when we learn more about this unique and fascinating country. We look forward to having you with us for our next episode of Places, People, Purpose, where we create connections to our world.